Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, we are going to be comparing what are considered to be two of the strongest scout rifles within Destiny 2. These scout rifles are the Purpose and the Nameless Midnight. Now, I used to do these weapon comparisons for Destiny 1, so some of you guys might be familiar with my old setup, but I'm actually going to be restructuring how I do these videos for weapons within Destiny 2. I used to look at arbitrary features of the guns, such as how they look, how they sound, etc., but I decided in the long run that none of these features really matter to how these weapons truly perform. Form. Instead, I am only going to be focusing about the different statistics on these guns that actually matter within different engagements and how this translates over to actual gameplay. So let's just go ahead and start off by looking at both of the weapons that we're going to be comparing. So if you guys don't know, the Purpose Scout Rifle comes from the Trials of the Nine starting with Season 2, and it is of the 200 rounds per minute lightweight frame archetype of Scout Rifles, which is the same as the Mida Multi-Tool. Now in the description, I have linked to a Google document made by the user Dreamwalker, over on the Destiny subreddit, and essentially it is just a giant compilation of all of the quickest and slowest time to kills for every single archetype in the game. Now, of course, this only applies to the Crucible side of the game where light level advantages are turned off, and it does not really apply over to the PvE side either because different enemies at different light levels are going to have different amounts of health. So because the purpose is of the 200 rounds per minute archetype, and it does 15 damage to the body plus 15 with explosive rounds, and 29 plus 15 to the head, you have some somewhere between a 1.2 second time to kill and a 1.8 second time to kill, depending on if you get more headshots or body shots. Now on the other side, you have the Nameless Midnight, which of course is the Vanguard Scout Rifle, which you can earn from Zavala and his packages. This one can shoot 180 rounds per minute and has a precision frame, which translates over to 17 damage to the body plus 17 with explosive rounds, or 31 damage to the head plus 17 for explosive rounds, which means when all of this is factored in together, you will have somewhere between a 1 to 1.67 second time to kill with this weapon. So as you guys can see, the time to kill with the Nameless Midnight is actually a lot faster, being on average around 0.2 seconds quicker, which in a first person shooter is extremely vital to different gunfights. However, it is very important to recognize that time to kill is not the only or even the main thing to compare while you are looking at different weapons. Each weapon actually has different advantages over the other one that can make it even more useful in certain situations. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the other statistics that these weapons possess just to get a little idea of how they compare against each other there. So in general, the Purpose has a higher rating for stability, handling, and aim assist, and of course you will move faster with it as well. So if you're a player who plays on higher sensitivity, you will probably like the Purpose a little bit more. On the flip side of that, the Nameless Midnight features a higher impact, range, and reload speed value, meaning that it is better for slow down gameplay. Now each specific weapon in the game also has a hidden value for additional aim assist that you get while using that weapon. The Purpose has an additional aim assist value of 72, and the Nameless Midnight only features an additional value of 62. Now the difference that this value has on the different weapons is actually very hard to put into words. You really have to experience how each weapon feels individually to know what this feels like for yourself. However, just know that this essentially means that the purpose will stick to enemies a little bit better and thus you will have an easier time aiming with the purpose than with the Nameless Midnight. Now the reason we are comparing these is because they both feature extremely similar perks. On the purpose, I like to run the perk setup lightweight frame, small bore, hip fire, grip and explosive payload, and then on the other side with the Nameless Midnight, I prefer to run Precision Frame, Red Dot 2 MOA, Flared Magwell, and Explosive Payload. So as you guys can see, they are pretty similar, and I think you will know that if you have played with these weapons before. They're both scout rifles with very similar rate of fires, and they both have explosive rounds, and are very good in multiple aspects of the game. So let's go ahead and break down how I think these things perform against each other in PvP and in PvE. So let's go ahead and start off with what most people are going to care about PvP. So we have already discussed that on paper, the Nameless Midnight has a faster time to kill. However, there is much more to it. If you guys remember back, the Mida Multi-Tool was the community's favorite weapon in the Crucible for an extremely long time within Destiny 2. I would argue that it's still a lot of people's favorite weapon. You received increased movement speed while using this weapon, and it also included perks like high caliber rounds, and it had a very good time to kill as well. Well, if you were a fan of all of that put together, you should know that the purpose is essentially the exact same thing in Legendary form. However, instead of high caliber rounds, you get explosive rounds, which can be just as disorienting to enemies and will allow you to hit them around corners as well. So personally, I prefer the purpose over the Nameless Midnight in PvP. 
While it does feature a higher time to kill, it actually has more aim assist, and I am a player who plays on a higher sensitivity, which to me directly correlates to me liking the faster rate of fire weapon. And in addition to that, the perk hipfire grip allows you to use this weapon up close as well, whereas the nameless midnight would not be very effective from that range. So in the end, it is of course going to come down to personal preference, especially for PvP, but I do prefer the purpose. Like I said, it does have a higher time to kill, but it seems much more reliable to me if you miss one or two shots, it's not devastating to the gunfight, whereas if you do miss a shot with a Nameless Midnight, you are more likely to lose that encounter. So because of all of this, I'm gonna have to say that the purpose is better in PvP. Now for PvE, you can essentially use anything you want. We've discussed this before on my channel. I'm a big proponent of the fact that you can essentially use whatever weapons you want in PvE and still do relatively well, unless you're in a very difficult end game activity like a Prestige Nightfall or Raid. So I think that the difference between the purpose and the Nameless Midnight matters much less within PvE, but there are still a couple of different factors. Now, the Nameless has been my longtime favorite in PvE for an extremely long time. It got me through the entire Leviathan, it got me all the armor sets in the prestige version of the Leviathan, and I have used it pretty much every single time we've done the Eater of Worlds raid layer as well. It's extremely powerful, very reliable, very easy to use, it's very easy to get, and all of these things just make it a very solid weapon. Now, the purpose is also fairly easy to use, it's decently easy to get, and it's very very good in these same activities for pretty much the same reasons. However, one complaint I have is that the difference in time to kill is extremely easy to notice in PvE when compared to the time to kill difference in PvP. While the Nameless Midnight does shoot a little bit slower, it definitely seems to pack more of a punch, killing enemies much quicker than the purpose seems to. So while I love the increased speed in PvE activities due to the lightweight frame on the purpose, I definitely feel like I'm more deadly while using the Nameless Midnight, meaning it is going to remain my go-to weapon in PvE. Now at the end of the day, of course this is all personal preference. If you like moving faster in PvE, you are probably going to be more attracted to the purpose in PvE activities than the Nameless Midnight, and that's perfectly fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I just wanted to let you guys know the exact stats, how that translates over to gameplay, and what that means for my personal game styles. So one more time, just to recap, I love the purpose in PvP, it has a higher aim assist, and overall it just feels very, very solid. Personally, I feel like it fits the aggressive play style much better, and because of that, I'm gonna say it's better in PvP. But in PvE, the Nameless Midnight is much more reliable and hits much harder, making it my go-to raid weapon. Let me know your own thoughts on these two weapons down in the comment section below. Which one do you like better? Let me know and why down in the comment section. In addition, if you have any other weapons you would like me to compare in the future, let me know down in the comment section as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you are interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed for more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.